So a lot of people find it strange and even obnoxious that Elliot Hulse refers to himself as Elliot Hulse. So what is this about? I feel like I owe you an explanation because I do it quite often. And the associations with a practice like that are far more shallow than the place I'm coming from when I refer to Elliot Hulse. So the very first thing I want to share with you is that there's a core being beneath the facade of the characters we all play in life. And when I say character, I don't necessarily mean the Yo Elliot character that I play when I'm, you know, doing my strength training videos or even, you know, the character that I am molding as I, you know, move forward in my profession. I mean the person we've been told we are that's attached to the name we were, we've been given since the time we were children. Since the time you were children, you've been told what you should be like, what you should do, what's appropriate, what's not appropriate, what you should aspire to. And then we build defenses, psychological defenses against things that we find uncomfortable, uh, experiences that were traumatic. Also, we find ways to move towards things that are, that feel good. And these are all, these all mold our character. They all mold who we play. All of this is very superficial. All of this is layered on top of the core individual, who you really are deep on the inside. You know, I even, <clears throat> I call that the strongest version of yourself. The strongest version of yourself is a process of removing the layers, especially the unresourceful layers of character buildup that deter you from be, seeing the true essence, the true being that, that's deep within you. So I've formed a attitude of detachment from Elliot Hulse. So when I say Elliot Hulse, I'm referring to Elliot Hulse and I say, you know, Elliot Hulse this, Elliot Hulse that. Really what I'm referring to is this imaginary character in my mind and through which you receive me, through which you experience me, that I'm referring to. It's not me. I'm not Elliot Hulse. I've done a video about this on, uh, on my strength training channel where <laughs> I call it I'm not Elliot Hulse and I'm doing deadlifts to different ways I'm not Elliot Hulse. The fact is, I, I, and this I, who is this I I keep referring to? Well, this I, this essence, this being, this watcher that's experiencing this, what's going on, the play of life, is not Elliot Hulse. So I want you to understand that when I, when I refer to this Elliot Hulse character, it's not from a narcissistic place of placing, putting myself above someone or something else in a hierarchy whereby I need to refer to myself uh, as if uh, there's some sort of kingship, you know, Elliot Hulse, right? It's not a position of grandeur from which I refer to Elliot Hulse. It's a position of detachment. I am not Elliot Hulse. And when I refer to him, it's simply that character that you've come to know. 